If you want to keep watching YouTube shorts and lower your IQ, go ahead. If you want to see how us professionals do it in the real fabrication world, stick with me. Hi guys, this is going to be a video of me ranting about those YouTube shorts that are probably getting force fed down your throats too. These guys that are getting millions of views and 50,000, 100,000 likes on overcomplicating welding joints. And you know, somebody like me is trying to teach you guys the most efficient, best way to do it. And I, can, I can't even get 100,000 views anymore these days. I don't know what's going on. So if you guys agree, you know, let me know below in the comments. But so the videos, you know, like one that really triggered me was how to tie this into this you know they put the X in the video thumbnail and do all this waving and crap and the cringy titles the clickbait titles and they, they said you know he, the way he said to put this in here is to cut this out you know I'll just keep it short cut that out and put it in there all fancy and over complicated when all all you really need to do is just you know stack apart the same height whatever angle you can put this any angle you want just line it up like that arbitrary angle Mark it, take it out, cut it, weld it right on, and you're done. But they go about it like this, you know, do some fancy cut crap and notch it in here so you have to weld twice as much weld length, twice as much time, and then you're going to distort the part worse. Waste all your time whittling that out and wearing out your blade, or just do this. And if you know how to weld, this is not any stronger than this. As long as you make your weld joint, if you were to cut it apart, if you make it thicker than the base metal, like this is eighth inch thick, if you go around this whole part and make the thickness at least eighth inch thick, you're gonna be just fine. So this part, you know, if you want, you don't even have to bevel it like I did here. See how I've got those, those angles coming in? What that does is that opens this groove up so the weld penetrates in better and it lays in flatter. You know, if you're building a handrail, maybe you'd want to buff this flat when you're done so you want the weld to penetrate in. This stupid ass joint. So if you want to, if you want to bevel that out, you know how much longer that's going to take to do that? You can't just go over like this. I just went over to the belt sander and did that and then touched it up with a hand file real quick. This stupid thing, you're going to have to manually hand file in every single groove here, or if you want to bevel this out. So let's say you don't want to bevel this and you're just going to bevel this out and open it back up. You're going to have to bevel this out right here and then you lose this thickness. So this inside part becomes a wasted flat part that doesn't have any strength to it. So there's no point to that whatsoever. I sat and stared at this for several minutes and the only reason I could see to do this joint is if you did not know how to weld and like say you were JB welding this crap together and if you know your JB weld broke this would still lock it in place so it couldn't pop off but if you're a welder just do it this way I promise you that's the way to do it so congratulations you took twice as long to cut it twice as long to fit it twice as long to weld it and you warped it twice as much more okay let's get this garbage out of here so the rest of this video is an ad for my website. If you want to learn from somebody who's been successfully doing this for their profession for 22 years, I have a website that'll teach you exactly how I do this 
and I'll show you exactly from my point of view through my welding hood, high quality arc shots, how I feed the rod, how I shape the tungsten gas flow rates. And you don't need any of that crap. You don't need the big, you know, fancy glass cups and high, ridiculously high gas flow rates. Like, look, this was all done. This whole entire thing was done with the welder settings explained on my website, how I do it. So it's, you know, like I said, one time subscription fee, $45, unlimited viewing. And if anything isn't answered on the website, feel free to email me and I'll answer your questions and then maybe even make a video like this about it. Thanks for watching. And I use the Prime Weld 325X in this video and the TIG button that I sell on my website. The code for this to save a few bucks and help me out is 6061.